what if I told you that both the hottest and the coldest temperatures in our solar system have been found on our planet? No, these aren't naturally occurring, but have been created by us. At CERN's Large Hadron Collider, scientists smashed lead nuclei at nearly the speed of light. And for a fleeting instant, they created a fireball reaching 5.5 trillion Kelvin, about 400,000 times hotter than the sun's core. At that heat, even protons and neutrons can't survive. They dissolve into the most fundamental building blocks, quarks and gluons, forming a short-lived quark-gluon plasma the same state that filled the universe microseconds after the Big Bang. So in a sense, CERN briefly recreated the first moments of creation. Now at the opposite extreme, scientists have cooled atoms to just 38 trillionths of a Kelvin above absolute zero, the coldest temperature ever achieved anywhere. At absolute zero, minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, all motion theoretically stops. And near that point, atoms merge into one shared quantum state called the Bose-Einstein condensate, first predicted by Satyendranath Bose and Albert Einstein, and created in labs in 1995. Now, in this strange state, matter behaves less like particles and more like a single quantum wave, an entire cloud moving as one. So, to put it in scale, the early universe burned at around 10 raised to the power of 32 Kelvin. Yet here on Earth, humans have bridged both extremes, recreating the fire of creation and the stillness beyond the stars. We have just about touched both ends of the universe's thermometer. How cool is that?